While it may be too early to tell which 4G smartphone or tablet is going to be the first blockbuster device in LTE, it's certain. Network operators are bracing for a wide variety of amazing new applications with complex traffic patterns. Simply put, the 3G infrastructure is already under severe stress. And the challenge now is to ensure that this doesn't happen on LTE. In setting the network neutrality rules, the FCC even acknowledged this fact. Mobile broadband networks require sophisticated management systems to avoid being swamped or congested. So what's needed? LT policy enforcement. First, mobile operators need fine-grade intelligence on the behavior of their network and their subscribers. It's critical to know which applications are consuming the network resources. Without intelligence, the signaling load is too high, the location awareness is disconnected from the service plans, and the congestion management will be ineffective. 3GPP, which develops mobile standards as defined system architecture evolution, or SAE, as the core design for LTE. In this architecture, policy enforcement is carried out as an intermediate point between the internet router and the SAE gateway, which could be a GGSN or a PDSN. Policy management is carried out at a higher layer by a system including AAA server, the PCRF, the customer portal, and the charging platform. Uh, let's walk through this in practical terms. We begin with network intelligence. DPAC inspection, or DPI, is the core technology that captures the user's application, the location, uh, the device awareness. This intelligence can be used to define specific subscriber plans and policies. A home subscriber server and the PCRF platform, which are defined by the 3GPP for LT networks, manage this complexity of associating these policies to individual subscribers. In LTE, this functionality might be carried out by a solution from Bridgewater, Broadhop, or others. An intelligent policy enforcement platform, which resides in the network upstream from the packet gateway, translates this knowledge into real-time control by means of PCEF. The key attributes for intelligent policy enforcement are, first, service flexibility, which is being able to support rapidly changing subscriber models. The second would be granular accuracy, which is associating the subscriber and the device and providing that awareness. Third is performance and scalability. Operators need to support millions of subscribers and tens of thousands of transactions per second. And finally is the real-time analytics, which gives the information feedback loop moving for detailed business intelligence reports. At Procera Networks, we've been developing and deploying policy enforcement systems that drive some of the largest tier one operators in the world. We've scaled these systems to support multiple 10 gig channels, 120 gigs of real-time enforcement, and tens of millions of simultaneous flows per system. Our solutions are already being deployed in major LTE networks globally. To learn more about LTE policy enforcement, download our white paper.